Rory, I know you've done it before, but when Gregor rang you to be a co-captain, what did it mean to you? Yeah, obviously honoured. Um, you know, it's like you said, I've done it before, but I wasn't expecting this this call. He called me on Saturday. Um, even when he was like, you know, I want to update you on the captain situation, couldn't have sort of guessed what he was going to say next. And I'm delighted to be doing it with somebody like Finn as well. I think, um, you know, we're obviously very different in our styles of, of rugby and, and how we approach the game, but I think that'll work really well. Um, looking forward to working with him. I'm not spoken to him much yet. Uh, we went, met up last night, but I'm, I'll, obviously after this, we're going back into camp. So, yeah, it'll be good to catch up with him and. Uh, yeah, have a wee chat. Yeah, you talked know. about working with Finn, that'll be good, but sharing the responsibility is probably very good for you as well. Oh, yeah, and, you know, I don't think it'll work any different to how it was, you know, in the past, well, maybe a little bit, but um, any time I've been involved with leadership roles, it's very much been shared responsibility anyway. Um, you know, it's a, it's a thing that I think we've been really good at in Scotland in the past, and um, Finn will obviously sort of deal with a lot of the attack stuff anyway he does that um, he's always done that and um, you know I can maybe chip in more on the defensive side of things and yeah I think it should should work really well It's been a fast enough transition for you you, know, you only made your debut two years ago Yeah But you seem to be taking this in your stride and loving it I am yeah um, you know it's obviously it's obviously been hard at times and you know I spent a lot of time as a pro at Edinburgh um, just not playing and, and you know doing a lot of training tough training with with them and getting you know physically better but you you still want to play at the end of the day even though you're a young boy um, so I have had that period of time where you're just putting in a lot of graft and and not and not um, playing any rugby off the back of it um, but then since you know I got my move to Glasgow and I think I came off the bench for my debut and then started sort of the the Rainbow Cup. Don't know if you remember that. It, was, it feels like it was this. No fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So and then after, um, after that, I've just yeah, it's been a pretty sharp rise, and you know, it's, you don't get a lot of time to reflect on it, but it's been um, it's been awesome. The Scottish background. It's always been so competitive. No different this time. Jack Dam team up Ferguson, Jamie Ritchie. Do you see a whole see that as a good thing, or does that work in training? Yeah, it's, it has to be a good thing. I think. Um, competition for places you know um, if you said you know you, you didn't want that in the squad I think you have to have it in the squad you know it means keeps everyone sharp keeps everyone pushing each other and training even the, yeah, not even just games but training training standards go up naturally just because you have to prove yourself to, to get into the team so um, yeah it can only really be a good thing in my eyes With the World Cup being such a disappointment is there extra motivation going into this championship? Yeah, and that's the way sport works. Um, you know, you get victories and losses, and after the losses, you're desperate to get back out there just to sort of put things right. And you know, um, it's been a long time for in a national sense. Um, it's felt like ages, <laughs> as you can imagine. You know, it was a real disappointment that last game, and um, it was ideal with well, on a personal level. And the boys at Glasgow, know some of us went straight back in. And straight into, but that was actually quite a good thing for me personally because, you know, it would have been a hard thing to do is just sit in that disappointment until now. Um, but it's still there because that's our last outing for Scotland. Um, so yeah, and not many better. We've obviously got Wales down there. We've not got the best record, so um, that's a huge opportunity. Yeah, Wales and Cardiff. It's going to be good. Would it be fair to say Scotland maybe underachieved over the last couple of years? Why do you feel that is as a player? Yeah, I think it's obviously in the Six Nations anyway a bit of consistency. I think um, we've proved that we can beat the big teams um, every now and then, and we've just not done it back to up um, time and time again. So you know, we'll be looking at how. But these these questions are tough to answer. You know, what I mean, if they were easy to answer, it would be then it would be easy. It's not easy. Um, it's not easy to win a Six Nations or a World Cup. But um, you know, we we. we We'll be working hard at sort of trying to find the answer to that. You're right, it isn't easy, easy to ask the questions, but do you feel, you know, with Ireland and Johnny Sexton retiring, a couple other players, France losing Anton de Pont, do you feel there is a good opportunity for Scotland this year? You know, we've, we feel there's an opportunity every year. You know, obviously it's a competitive sport. Um, you go into every game backing yourself, and, um, you know, that's what we're going to do. But, um, like I said, you have to get off to a good start and, uh, 
the challenge that awaits us down in Cardiff is a pretty big one. Um, but then it's about you know building up for that, um, regardless of what happens, being able to sort of wipe it away and then getting fired into the next one. Rory, hope it goes well and all the best in a couple of weeks in Cardiff. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.